You know, some of our state's most vulnerable Hoosiers right now are facing an uncertain future tonight. This is because Congress is debating government spending. There are more than 31,000 kids in foster care all across the state of Indiana. And many of these kids could lose much needed support if the federal money doesn't come through. Tonight, our big story starts with a look at what's at risk for young adults who are aging out of the system and they don't have a family to help them. Foster care advocates are asking for help protecting important funding that gives them a better shot at a life they deserve. Josh Christian Oswald spent 18 years in foster care, shuffling through 18 different homes. He was finally adopted at age 23 by his case manager and graduated from college a challenge for many foster kids. So it's very lonely when you're in foster care. There's so many privacy restrictions. But he didn't do this without help. He's one of thousands of young people benefiting from federal funding that extended help during the pandemic to people between 23 and 27 who aged out of foster care. For me in this bill, I have really just been able to uh, get a new car and I've got a laptop recently and um, I recently also grabbed a, uh, was able to obtain a voucher. Now he's worried he and other young adults will lose this valuable help if the government doesn't extend the funding set to expire on September 30th. So if this bill is not extended um, in three to four days from now, we're going to have thousands and thousands of young people that will no longer be able to receive these federal dollars, uh, which meaning they can become homeless, they could lose services. Maggie Stevens with Foster Success is working with Josh to advocate and support foster kids, especially in the wake of the pandemic and a growing need. We're interested in and what others are interested in is making sure that there's not just a sudden cliff, right, where young people who have been leaning on the Department of Child Services and other organizations in the state as they've been aging out of foster care during the pandemic. Dejana Rodriguez also works as a foster care advocate. After aging out of the system and struggling with homelessness before she was 22, she says this money makes them feel seen and gives them an opportunity to grow. It's forgotten that all kids need to learn from somebody and in foster care you're just going 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 and sometimes there's no sense of stability now if federal help isn't extended young adults who are aging out of foster care could lose guaranteed support from the state because the state would lose this federal money, they would have to take on extra costs or limit the help available. That means Hoosiers between 21 and 23 years old could live month to month waiting to see what aid they're actually eligible for. And that aid could be anything from money for college to housing assistance, SNAP benefits, or countless other programs. Congress only has a couple of days now to pass its spending plan in order to avoid a shutdown. And there's a lot that hangs in the balance for many, many Americans.